In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called longest common prefix. So write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an string, array of strings. So if there is no common prefix, return an empty string. So here you can see we have a strings array, and then basically we want to find the longest common prefix. So in this case, the first character, the longest common prefix is going to be flower. For this, the first two string, the common prefix, uh, the common prefix for those two strings is going to be flow because they all have flow as their common prefix and it's the longest. And for flight, if we have three strings, the common prefix, the longest common prefix in my opinion is, in this case, it's going to be FL, right? Because we all have FL, but for flight, they don't have flow. They don't have OW. So in this case, we have to include, we have to uh, return FL instead of FL OW. Right? So if we don't have any common prefix, for example, this one, we're just going to return an empty string. So that's what we're trying to return. So let's take a look at how we can solve this problem. So to solve this problem, what we can do is we can say for each character in a string, we're going to see if every other element has the same character at the same position. Right. So f is at index 0 for the uh, for a character at index zero right in this case uh, we're going to see if this character is in, in um, index zero this character is in index zero then we can say that f is the common prefix and then we're just going to continue to iterate iterate in this case l right l l is here o o is here o is here and o is not here so what we can do is we can just return the longest prefix that we have so far which is fl so this will give us a, a square time complexity because for each character in the string, we have to check for other elements to make sure that they also have that character at the same position. So what we can do instead is we can use um, bring the time complexity down to a linear by simply just say this is the prefix, right? So what we're going to do then is we're going to say, OK, well, if this is the prefix and then we want to see if this character is the prefix, uh, if this string right here is the prefix of this. Right. In this case, is not. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the last character. In this case, we have flower. We're going to remove the last character. Then we have F L O W E, and we're going to see if F L O W E is the prefix of this. Then we're going to then then we we say okay, well we don't. Now we're going to continue to remove the next character. In this case, we have flow. Then we notice that flow is inside is the prefix of this character uh, of this string right here then all we have to do is we just have to continue, right? In this case, we continue to move on to the next string. We say, well, so far we have a common prefix of flow. Is this the common prefix of this? Is this the prefix of this? In this case, we don't. So we're just going to keep removing the last character until we find the common, the common prefix, right? So to do this, let's try to do this in code. So to solve this problem in code, what we're going to do is we're going to first create this um, common prefix. So common, right, that we're going to return at the end. And then what we're going to say is this. So if strings.length is equal to zero, then we can just return common, right? Because there could be a situation where the string is empty or sorry, I mean the, 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 the array is empty. So then what we're going to do is we're going to assign uh, common is equal to strings at zero. We're gonna we're gonna treat we're gonna treat the first character the first element as the as the common prefix, and then we're just gonna start at index one by simply check to see if the common prefix uh, by simply check to see if common is the common prefix of this next element, right? So what we're gonna do is this. So um, for is your i is equal to um, one, while i is less than strings dot length i plus plus. What we're going to do is we're going to check to see if um, so. What we're going to do is this. So while strings at i dot index, right? So dot index of common does not equal to zero, right? So which means that if the current common prefix is not the 
uh, is not at the first, does not exist at the first character um, at index one, then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the last element off of the common prefix. So in this case, it's going to be common is equal to uh, common dot substring. Right, so we start at zero, and then the last element in this case is going to be common length minus one. So we're removing the last element off of the common, right? Then what we're going to do is once we have a situation where strings at i dot index of common is is equal to zero, then what we're going to do is we're just going to continue, right? Um, at the end, we're just going to return common. So now let's try to run the code and let's try it with a different case. Okay, so let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So the space complexity in this case is going to be constant, big O of 1, but the time complexity in this case is going to be uh, big O of uh, n. So where n is equal to all the characters that are inside the strings. So all the characters that we have inside the array, right? So in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 characters in this string. So that's going to be big O of n, right? So n is equal to all the characters that we have inside the strings, inside the arrays, right? So there you have it, and thank you for watching.